DeSantis signs landmark law banning permanent alimony. About time. Yeah, Florida was one of like, I think, six states that still had lifetime alimony. Uh, Although, if I were to bet, I bet a bunch of high-profile women were stuck having to pay alimony to their ex-husbands. And this is what ultimately prompted this. I find it hard to believe they'd do this for men's sake. So it it had to be because women were affected. Like that's what got alimony removed in general. Is like now, now that women were starting to earn more than men, that w- when women were running into more of these uh, alimony payments, that's when they started changing things. But either way, I mean, I don't I don't care. I don't care what the reason is if they did it to help men. If some men made it women's problem, so people would care about their problems, the end result is all that matters. Like I'm one of those people. I've been from the very beginning. I've been telling you, if you're a man and you have problems that are exclusive to men that women don't have, nobody will care about your problems, and your problems will never get resolved unless you can fix them yourself. So, as a man. The best way to get society to care about your problems and and help fix them is to make your problems women's problems. And that's what happened with alimony. Men made alimony women's problem and suddenly society wanted to fix it. So it's a good strategy. After more than a decade of thwarted attempts to reform alimony in the state of Florida, DeSantis is signing a landmark bill banning permanent alimony. About time. Now, the Republican presidential candidate had previously vetoed an, an iteration of the law that uh, said uh, that some said would make them uh, would make the provision retroactive to prior alimony agreements. No, that's what it should be. All these prior lifetime alimony agreements should be null and void. He thought the provision was unconstitutional, but senior DeSantis administration officials said the governor is satisfied that this latest version would not apply retroactively, thus passing the state's constitutional muster. Okay, so if you're if you're already stuck paying alimony and uh, this this doesn't apply to you, the best thing you can do is leave the U.S. and just never come back. Now, this bill is hopefully going to reduce litigation costs because it's going to standardize the process as opposed to there being too much subjectivity in deciding which ways alimony goes. Oh, man. Deciding which ways alimony goes. It's almost as if you're saying like, "Ah, you know what? Now that it's being decided that women have to pay it more often. eh, Let's let's fix this. Now, the bill will also provide a legal recourse for those still paying alimony to an ex-spouse who has entered a common law marriage with a new partner. The reform limits rehabilitative alimony, that is temporary alimony granted while the unemployed spouse finds a job to five years, and mandates the assumption that both parties uh, will have a lower standard of living as a uh, result of re- reneging on their marriage. The law also better scales uh, durational alimony, banning it in case of marriages shorter than three years. The previous bill signed earlier this week will uh, crucially demand that judges begin family court cases with the assumption that both spouses gain equal custody of minor children. Let's see if they actually follow through, though. If they follow through with this, th- this this is very good progress. Yeah, equal custody and as the default, that's how it should have been. No, previous law rendered Florida a national outlier. It was only one of seven states that allowed permanent alimony. Yeah, critics of permanent alimony point out that it does not hamper the labor force participation rate, but also penalizes the paying spouse in no-fault divorces. Yeah, and it, it also causes people to leave. Like, guys have entirely left the country over this bullshit. And, and a lot of them were, were very successful. They made a lot of money that is now being removed from the U.S., yeah, so th- this is very good. It, it, it's about time. Now we got to see who are the other six states. Yeah, still still got to fix them. But yeah, child support and custody, that's, that's the next thing that really needs to be fixed. I still would not recommend guys get married at all. But we're heading in the right direction. May- maybe a few more years of this and, uh, and marriage will not be an avoid at all cost proposition anymore. Uh, Yeah, I know. I'm I'm not going to hold my breath, but uh, baby steps.